Hello and welcome. I'm Nadia, and today I'm showing you how I set up my Buddha journal for January 2021. So, grab a cup of tea, sit back, and relax. I'm drinking some Lady Grey because it's very early here. I'm once again using only my black fine liner and a ruler. Oh, and an eraser to erase my pencil marks that I've done to prepare for the setup. So, let's get started. I start with writing my title in a cursive font, and then I start creating my calendar for the month. I've been trying some different filming angles, so I'm afraid that means you might be looking through my lenses literally a few times. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm drawing five rows to represent each week. Each row consists of two little lines together to create this look. The weekends are on the right, while the rest of the week is on my left page. Then, I number each day in my calendar with the corresponding date. I also tend to use quite a small font when writing numbers. I'm not sure why, but I tend to prefer that look. On the right page, I have space left over for two columns. I'm using my ruler to draw some lines to create headers. One for notes and one for the things to note for next month. To finish off this spread, I'm adding week numbers to the right of the calendar and that's it for the monthly overview. So take a well-deserved sip of your beverage of choice and let's continue. The next spread I'm setting up is a sleep tracker. I've decided to try my hand at using yearly trackers this month, so for most stuff I don't have to set up monthly trackers. Sleep and I, however, are not the best of friends, so I'd like to try and keep a bit closer eye on that. After I write down my title, I'm writing down the days of the month on the left of my page. On the top of the tracker, I'll put a little space to track sleep quality in plus, minus, or neutral. And next to that, I write down a 24 hour clock so I can actually log my sleeping hours through the night and day if I end up taking naps. I did make a bit of a mistake here, but I'm just gonna ignore it and move on. I know what I meant. So yeah, like I said, it's early. <laughs> Finally, I finish it off with a total hour slept. Each of these little sleep trackers are then divided by simple black lines. For the next page, I'm only putting on a title. Since this is my brain dump page for this month, or basically the things I want to focus on this month, and I don't really need a set layout for that. 
And finally, to finish this off, I'm putting the first weekly spread of the new year in. I'm not yet making all my weekly spreads for January, because I might end up trying some daily spreads, but I'm not sure yet. Do you guys prefer weekly or daily spreads, or maybe both? Please let me know. So, as you guys probably know by now, I like to keep a lot of space free when I'm doing spreads, so I'm dividing my page in four parts and writing down the days of the week with the date underneath. For the weekdays I'm using a more handwritten font while using block letters for the dates. In the last block I leave room for notes and I add the week number and month to it. It looks quite empty now, but it gives me a lot of space to actually use to plan my days. To finish it off, I'm adding page numbers and adding important pages to my index. Finally, I'm carefully erasing all of my pencil marks and then I'm done. This is my complete January setup. It might be a bit short for a monthly bullet journal setup, but I'm trying to keep it simple and doable here. If you'd like this video, please don't forget to leave a like and maybe subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a lovely holiday season, whatever you might celebrate, and let's hope that the next year is better than this. Bye!